What's Gucci YouTube world? It's your boy 22 Khalil and welcome to yet another installment of Laker Rumors. Now as all you guys know, the NBA has been on shutdown, especially due to the whole coronavirus situation going on. But that's still not stopping the rumors flying in, with some rumors involving some former Lakers maybe returning back to the purple and gold. But before I get into those rumors, if you guys are digging any of the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tings. But with that being said, let's get into the content. Lego. Now first thing first, and what it looks like to be an interview, Paul Gasol basically hinted that he would like to spend his final season with the Los Angeles Lakers. And obviously, Laker Twitter is going crazy, and some people are willing to even get rid of Dion Waiters, Jared Dudley, or Quinn Cook for him. And for those people, I'll say, slow your roll a little bit. As a big Laker fan, I love me some Paul Gasol. But a good question to ask is, how much left does he have in the tank? You know, he's up there in age, and he's coming straight off of foot rehab, which is very concerning. I really don't see a scenario with Paul Gasol coming this year. Now, next year, there could be a scenario where Dwight Howard leaves, because right now, he's out playing his contract by a mile. Basically, dominating his contract playing on minimum wage so i can see a scenario where dwight howard leaves and if he does leave uh, we do need a second center so i can see a scenario where Paul Gasol gets signed next year maybe in that jared dudley role i'll like but as far as him playing contributing minutes i don't know about that now second up and what looks to be a zoom meet and greet lavar ball big baller brand ceo was chatting with his laker fan and with the Laker fan, you know, he had a Lonzo Ball poster in the back. And he basically said, Lonzo back to the Lakers. And LeVar in response said, they're coming back to the Lakers later. That's the inside scoop. Matter of fact, here, watch the video. I'm with my son in the back. The deuce is wild. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back on the Lakers. Back on the Lakers. Hey, man. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Just between me and you, man, we'll be back later. What I'm was talking, that? I'm, I said, just between me and you, they're coming back to the Lakers later, man. They're coming back to the Lakers? Woo! Inside Surprise, scoop. Inside ball, scoop. Ball. That'd be crazy, huh? Yeah. That's the inside scoop. Don't let them know that. LiAngelo, Jello, and Lonzo on the same team on the Lakers is looking very unlikely. So you have Jello Ball, who needs to prove himself first in the G League. Yeah, LaMelo Ball is going to be a top three pick and probably going to stay with that team for the next, what, four to five years. So that's probably out the equation. But the one that's probably intriguing the most is the man that's probably going to be a free agent next year, which is Lonzo Ball. You know, if you look at Lonzo Ball, he's not going to be at a high value, so I think he's going to be attainable. And with the fact that he's starting to be more aggressive, you know, shooting more mid-ranges, attacking the rim more, adding that complete game to the fact that he's already a good playmaker and already a great defender, I wouldn't see why not the Lakers should go after him. If we look at the contracts of Avery Bradley's going to be a free agent next year. Double A Rondo, who's going to be a free agent next year. Alex Caruso, believe it or not, he's going to be a free agent next year too. Out of them three, I would only like to keep Caruso, and that's off the bench. So if the price is right, Rob Plinko, without a doubt, should probably go for Alonzo Ball. With that being said, only if Alonzo Ball don't have hard feelings for that trade. Now third up, what looks to be a bunch of media conspiracies, a lot of media outlets, mostly including CBS Sports, basically talk about how the Lakers, 76ers, and Bucks could create a Chris Paul bidding war this offseason. You know, basically sent out the OKC for his career to die out, is now leading his team to a fifth seed. When you look at that roster, the roster's really unorthodox with, you know, Dennis Schroeder, Gilgis Alexander, and Chris Paul leading the charge. But like I said, there's been a lot of media outlets basically linking the Lakers and Chris Paul as basically a trade destination. And to that, I'm kind of 50-50 on it, but the big question is, what is his trade value? You know, if his trade value is like Kyle Kuzma in our late first round pick next year, I would know about that you know it'll kind of give me some steve nash vibes you know chris paul's doing amazing right now but he has a pretty hefty contract and let's not forget he can get injured a lot too the only way i can see a chris paul lakers trade happening is basically a scenario where you know rob palinka is basically in full win now mode and trades for chris paul like i said before i think the first round pick and kyle kuzma gets it done and the pieces around the team like chris paul ad and lebron with those contracts uh, might not look very good and last but not least as reported by shams the lakers are planning to reopen their practice facility on may 16th you know the nba starting to get more worn around the idea of teams starting to come back to at least practice you know are we close to nba return um, i was looking at jerry Dudley tweet last night he said one month so i believe probably like april we're gonna get our answer to all of this but to the question should we come back lord knows um i think it depends on how the situation gets better over this month now obviously as a laker fan i would want to see us compete for this championship because we were definitely looking like the favorites especially after dialing everybody wrong being the clippers and the bucks but to the question of should it come back i'm believing adam silver i'm gonna trust he does his due diligence good research and does make sure that if we do come back you know everything's safe and you know probably no fans which would probably take a lot of you know the spectrum the cool way you know it depends who you ask you know us laker fans obviously we like to see it come back but uh at this point this guy trusts adam silver and hopes he make the best decision for the nba but guys that's it for the whole lakers report if you guys like to see more content like this in the future make sure you guys smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe too but anyway snowfall ain't gonna watch itself so until next time it's your boy 22 khalil stay safe and as they say in japan jamatane peace